In part two on how to do resin ocean art, we'll get straight into making those waves. Using Angel White by Larez Expressions and Art Resin, I can pour a line of this white over the top of the clear resin that I've just laid down. Now, I did let this white sit in the cup for probably 10, maybe even 15 minutes. I wanted it nice and thick, so that way the lacing will, when I blow out the white, the lacing will retain its shape. Sometimes if you haven't let it, um, the white thicken up enough, once you blow it out, it might look good initially, but then after a while, maybe 30 minutes, you lose the lacing. It's also important to dance around a bit with that heat gun. Don't leave it in the one spot for too long because you can burn the resin. And I've got mine on about a medium heat and a high speed. Often I get messages from people um, struggling because they can't get their lacing and they're wondering why that's happening. A lot of the time it can be the combination of resin and the white pigment. So they're not, they're not all compatible. So if you're having issues with that, I would recommend switching your resin or your white and just experimenting with different combinations. And sometimes that's all it, that's all it takes is just um, using the right resin and the right pigment. Now, if you do want to learn a bit more about that, I do have a free ebook. I explain that a bit more and provide some examples. Now, I'll leave that link in the description. It requires signing up to my newsletter. So if you want to go ahead with that, it's there for you. You can see that the lacing is forming nicely here. So I'm really happy with this look. The blowtorch is really good for um, creating that lacing and also popping the bubbles because after a while they will form. Now I'm just dabbing on some silver metallic acrylic paint to create some sort of like seaweedy look and just some nice energy of the ocean there. Now I did forget to put it on initially. I did want to put some of it down before I blew out that white. So I'm having to carefully dance around my white, hoping not to disrupt all that lovely white lacing. And I can see that I'm going to have to cover up those dolphins a bit more. They're looking too obvious. Because of the resin, the pigment I used was so transparent, which is fantastic. But I now need to um, just camouflage those dolphins in a bit. And maybe I should have, looking back on this, I should have put a bit of white wave over them. I'm really regretting that. But I'll just put the silver down. There's only so much you can do. Like There's so much to think about when you're working on this. And I've got my two cameras to um, organize and they cut out at 29 minutes so I have to then set a timer and take off my gloves to reset record the cameras again to reset them yes there's a lot happening and I'm now just going to dab on some of this silver this is where I start bringing the rocks to life it's just that same silver acrylic paint because I'm going to actually put some silver leaf over them now the silver leaf is how I get this spectacular shimmery wet water look that just really elevates the rocks. You'll see how that um, also creates a real contrast in the highlight. And for me, I just think it's beautiful. Maybe it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it works for me and I really enjoy this process as well, provided my gloves are dry and they don't have resin on them or else the um, silver does not want to leave your fingers. Been there, done that. If you haven't already watched my other videos, you'll know what I mean. Now, I will mention if you're going to put as much effort into the, your work as what I'm doing, I would recommend using a resin that's high quality. There's a lot of resins out on the market, but they may not have really good UV stabilizers and non-yellowing properties. So that's I use Art Resin because I know my work is protected. They have double the amount of UV protection. They have the UV stabiliser and also the HALS. And you may notice I'm just working in sections with this um, silver leaf. That's because I've got to first of all lay down the silver acrylic paint first and let that tack up and then I apply the silver leaf. The silver leaf needs something to stick to and... The acrylic paint is perfect for that. If you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments and or if you've got any suggestions, I'm always open to tips or advice, so please bring them on. And I really hope you've enjoyed watching part two. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Michelle Tracy.